Is pepper spray legal in Germany? And if it is, what are the rules and regulations regarding its use? Well, obviously it is legal, otherwise this would be a very short video indeed, so it's the second question that I'll be attempting to answer. But before I do, I have to point out that I am not a lawyer and this is not legal advice. If you need legal advice, please consult an expert. So yes, pepper spray is legal in Germany, but it is regulated. And we need to make sure that we know exactly what we're talking about because not all pepper spray is pepper spray. German law distinguishes between actual pepper spray, which usually contains oleoresin capsicum, and irritant gas, which doesn't. Irritant gas sprays usually contain CS or CN gas, which is specially formulated for use on humans. Now, these are actually regulated by the German weapons law, which in practice simply means that it's not legal to sell it to anyone under the age of 14. Also, it has to carry a mark like one of these. If it doesn't, then it's definitely illegal. Pepper spray, on the other hand, can only be sold if it is marked as an animal repellent, and it should have a reach of no more than two meters. But apart from that, there are no particular restrictions. And rather counterintuitively, pretty much the same rules apply to both types of tear gas when it comes to when you're allowed to use them on humans. It may seem strange, by the way, that the less harmful product is more regulated, but that's because the less harmful product is intended for use on humans, and pepper spray is not. Laws on animal experimentation mean that sprays containing oleoresin capsicum cannot be certified for use on humans. Yes, they would need to experiment on animals to prove that it's safe for humans. I know we live in a very strange world. The important thing to remember is that these products do have health risks. They can cause permanent damage to the eyes, and inhalation can be a serious problem for anyone suffering from a condition like asthma. The risks are small, but they do exist. This means that you have to be mindful of how you use your spray. It's like having a stick. There's nothing illegal about having a stick, but that doesn't mean you are free to hit anyone you like with your stick. There are rules if you want to avoid being convicted for inflicting bodily harm. And by the way, please do be careful with your spray. This video was inspired by some comments I got on a short I made about a family who had to call the fire brigade after their dog bit a hole in a canister of pepper spray. And while researching this video, I came across a note on the website of the National Capital Poison Center saying that they sometimes have to deal with people who mistake their pepper spray for a breath freshener. Ooh. It makes no difference whether you are using irritant gas intended for use on humans, or you just happen to have with you a can of pepper spray intended for use on animals. You can use them only in self-defense or to render emergency assistance. Self-defense means you are about to be physically attacked. Emergency assistance means that somebody else is about to be physically attacked. And the threat of attack must be immediate. It is not enough if, for example, some guy is just being really creepy. There's also the difficult requirement for you to use the mildest deterrent possible, which means that if you could just as easily ward off your attacker with, say, an umbrella, then that is what you should do. Also, once your attacker has stopped attacking and the threat is no longer present, you must also stop. If you do use pepper spray on a human, it is very likely that an investigation will be opened against you. But as soon as it's clear that you acted in self-defense, the charges should be dropped very quickly. It's basically a formality. You did use an item as a weapon, but an investigation will reveal that this was in fact justified. Another thing to bear in mind is that whether it's irritant gas or pepper spray, you cannot take it with you to an event like a demonstration or a sports game. Also remember that what is legal in Germany may not be legal in neighboring countries, so if you're traveling, you may need to leave your spray at home. I would also recommend not bringing with you sprays 
from other countries. Pepper sprays must be clearly marked as animal repellents, and other sprays must have the German certifications. Otherwise, you could be in violation of the German weapons law. Fortunately, the rate of violent crime is not particularly high in Germany. It's not zero, of course, but in all my 30 years in Germany, I cannot remember personally witnessing any situation where pepper spray might have been useful. So, in summary, pepper spray is basically legal in Germany if you buy it from a reputable store in Germany and use it only in an actual emergency. Oleo resin capsicum. Oleo resin capsicum. Oleo resin capsicum. Oleo resin capsicum. Oleo resin capsicum.